Hi, I'd like to give you a short exercise on ear training, and it's training your inner ear, and that is training the mind. What does it want to hear before you play the note? Hopefully, when you then play the note, it matches the sound that your brain, or what one of my teachers called the inner ear, wanted to hear. So to do this exercise, you will need to be able to play a one octave G major scale, starting on the D string. In the Suzuki repertoire, that's introduced about three quarters of the way through book one. Third finger, open A, B, low two, C natural. Third finger on the A string is D, open E, F sharp, and a low two, which is your final G. Now while you play your first note, you're going to create a dissonant sound by singing the next note. And you will keep singing the next note until you start playing the next note. And they should match. So first it will be ugly and then it will resolve when you bow the second note. So watch what I do here. La, la. but that's not the point. I can hear the pitches before I play them. If you're more advanced as a student, perhaps you could do an E major scale on the D string. You can do it all with the first finger. At first you might check it when you reach the A and see if it's the same pitch. Release the tension while you shift and then reapply weight. Release the tension, shift, and when you get there, it should match your E string. Now, you can do the same exercise. La, 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 la. It's a great exercise for training your ear. Good luck.